Well, now more of our Hollywood Plastic Surgery Week, and no surgery needed here, is Demi Moore freezing her skin to look younger. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but you got to admit that Demi looks great after turning 50 just four days ago. So Christina McClarty tried out what could be Demi's icy beauty secret. Is this space-age beauty secret Hollywood's new fountain of youth? We go to about minus 256 Fahrenheit, and it briefly freezes the skin. Demi Moore was photographed leaving the Cryo Healthcare Clinic in Los Angeles just before her big 50th birthday. She's known for her beautiful skin in movies like Ghost. And now we may finally have some clues as to how she continues to defy her age. It's called cryotherapy. It stimulates the production of anti-inflammatory proteins, where it stimulates collagen production in your skin. Dr. Jonas Kune shows me how it's done. Ready as all, Ravik. It's gonna get very cold. I can't, I can't even talk. We're gonna freeze your skin very briefly, and that's what you feel right now, is uh -huh. a bit discomfort. Jonas recommends staying in for about two minutes. I can't feel anything. <laughs> Followed by some light exercise. This is my favorite part. $65 a session, the procedure began as a treatment for severe rheumatoid arthritis. Even Max from Dancing with the Stars comes here. I had a bunch of ankle injuries and I screwed up my knee. I would not survive without this. Next up, the cryofacial. It's one of these things that can really help your skin retain its elasticity and its youthful look. It takes just 10 minutes and costs $45. Is this a really good kind of treatment to do before you hit the red carpet? Yeah, the skin will look very refreshed after, so, um, you know, that's actually not a bad idea to do it right before a major event. Certainly a procedure Cindy Lauper should have considered before reportedly getting a chemical peel, which left her skin raw and peeling. L.A. dermatologist Dr. Rebecca Fitzgerald analyzes the photo. It looks like the epidermis has been removed, either with a laser or with a chemical peel, and that that's caused some inflammation in the lower layers of skin below the dermis. Although she looks quite alarming today, she will get a beautiful result from this. Well, the good news about that cryofacial that I did, it's non-invasive, so you're not going to look like that. Well, we're going to wrap up our plastic surgery week with the latest liposuction miracle that is shrinking Beverly Hills housewives. I will have that for you tomorrow.